for this experiment I have a 6,000 gallon aluminum tank hooked up to a vacuum cleaner. I've done this before but this time I've removed the filter from the vacuum, put the vacuum cleaner inside of a plastic bag and then hooked the bag up to another blower to see if I can get the vacuum down even farther. On the vacuum, the blower, alright. <clears throat> I've done a pressure test on this before so I know this can hold the vacuum but I don't know how far it will go down. So I have an altimeter watch that I can use on the inside to gauge the pressure. Pressure's starting to drop already. Got a balloon in here. That'll probably pop any minute. Okay. Pressure, the barometric pressure is down. Almost half an inch of mercury. Let's change this to altitude real quick. So I started off at an altitude of 4,960, over a thousand feet, different than that. Vacuum can do, continues to drop. Change it back to barometric pressure. Take a look at my balloon. It might not pop, it might, I don't know. You might lid. Sounds like I got a slight leak. Right there. Oh well. Pressure's down anyway. It's kind of dark in here, but it used to be a tar trailer, so that's to be expected. <laughs> Back on altitude. Look at that, we're over 7,000 feet. 160. <laughs> Can already feel the temperature dropping in here. Duct tape seems to be holding just fine. There goes the balloon. <laughs> that all fits a balloon all over now. That's from a different test. Okay. Let's see that. We're at 7280. 7300. Yeah, I filled the balloon up to where it was almost bursting already. So alright. Looks like about all will go. Now I'm going to punch through the 
state. My knife. the end of my test, I've proved that putting two vacuums together does increase the vacuum force.